Hello, my name is Matt Hurley. I'm the general manager of the McMullen Area Groundwater Sustainability Agency in West Fresno County. Welcome to our first quarterly video update. We hope to repeat this on a quarterly basis going forward so that you can be kept apprised of all the new and interesting and developing circumstances within the GSA. The MAGSA board previously adopted a policy that requires all landowners to have their agricultural wells fully metered by 2025. Uh, in an effort to assist the landowners in getting that accomplished, uh, we have recently received an award from the Bureau of Reclamation Water Smart Program under the Water and Energy Efficiency Grant for $2.8 million, which will act as a rebate subsidy for assisting landowners in achieving that goal. Uh, we've partnered with Macrometer uh, Meters and Telemetry Company and also with uh, Sigma Water Analytics, which is a data management company. And we've created a, a great package, uh, package price actually, that is a great deal for our landowners in addition to the rebates that we'll provide. We will be communicating both directly to the landowners in the very near future and ongoing, there will always be an ability to find information relative to the current status of the grants and the availability of the rebates on our website. We did in fact uh, successfully uh, renew our property-based fee, the $19 per acre that the land uh, owners have previously paid for the last five years. Uh, we did that to continue our planning, design, and development process for the solutions to our groundwater overdraft problem here in the GSA. Uh, very happy that we did so without any objection from our landowners. Uh, I believe that's a good indication of the fact that uh, all of our staff and supporting uh, contractors and interested parties are on the same page and we're moving forward. McMullen Area Groundwater Sustainability Agency was fortunate to receive uh, a five-year, million-dollar-a-year EQIP funding uh, program that will allow for MAGSA landowners specifically to be able to, to access the million dollars a year for efficiency purposes. Uh, that would be irrigation, would also allow for possible inclusion of the meters and telemetry and monitoring programs to be subsidized. Uh, for them, but uh, it's, it's a great partnership that we've been working on with the NRCS. Uh, the last year was very successful as we were able to get uh, word out to our landowners, uh, but most importantly, you have to be registered with the Farm Service Agency, the FSA, as a precondition, but we have three more million dollar pots uh, to work on over the next three years, and we hope that everybody will be able to qualify at some point during that period to get uh, to get those federal funds to assist in keeping the costs down for our landowners. All the information about EQIP uh, and the opportunities associated with EQIP for our McMullen landowners is available on our mcmullenarea.org website at mcmullenarea.org slash EQIP. The GSP uh, has just recently been accepted uh, on its first pass by the Department of Water Resources, but believe it or not, 2025, January 31st of 2025, we're required to do our first five-year milestone uh, review and update. We're still awaiting a final staff report from DWR on our successful passage for our first go-round. They have made suggestions that they'll uh, make available to us here in the very near future. We'll include those in our update, but we'll also be able to provide a great deal more uh, specific uh, information as we've gathered uh, quite a bit of data over the last five years. Well, the Aquaterra project, of course, is our water banking project. Uh, that will, in fact, be a major source of the solutions for the overdraft in the King Subbasin as a basin, as well as the McMullen area and its landowners. Uh, the important environmental review has yielded no significant impacts, uh, but we do uh, anticipate that the full review, both for the California Environmental Quality Act and the National Environmental uh, Program, 
uh, NEPA will be completed and that will essentially free us to move forward on design and construction drawings to get the actual improvements into the ground. The expansion project, uh, half of that project has already been a, had a environmental approval through CEQA. We're awaiting the watershed plan uh, through the Natural Resources Conservation Service. Uh, they are reviewing our watershed plan and hopefully we'll have our federal approvals on that very soon. Lynn Groundwater, our famous uh, author of our GSP with Provost and Pritchard, uh, continues to work on the actual construction drawings. We hope to have those available for bidding in the fall and actual construction to commence hopefully in early 2024. Stay engaged by definitely going to our website at mcmullenarea.org. Many, many topics on there. Don't be shy. You know, click on all of the different web pages uh, and learn what you can. Can't be too smart. Can't ask a, a question that's dumb. We want to help you. Uh, make sure that you're fully up to speed and taking full advantage of all of the opportunities we're making available to our landowners.